This is Twit. Where did this emoji fascination come from? You, you know what was fun about emoji, and I don't, I don't know whether you went through the same sort of evolution on it as I did, and a lot of people I knew is that it was sort of at that time when you'd heard about it and you could unlock it on the keyboard, that mm-hmm. it hit iOS and it was in Japan and you read about it, and then you'd sort of read a blog somewhere and someone goes, you know what, there's this emoji thing, they're little colourful pictures, but you've got to get this kind of slightly dodgy app, download it, and it will trick the system into pretending you're in Japan. And you felt cool. You started sending everyone little emojis in your texts. And I just thought they were, I thought they were fun. I didn't think it would be a, a business or anything like that. I thought they were fun, interesting. And then one day there were new ones. And I was like, oh, let me Google which ones are new. And there was, I don't know, no one, no one wrote about it. And I like the details. I like to ask why. And there was no, why is there a frog now? And there wasn't zero answers. So... That was kind of the origin. I know I read an interview that you did where you described that situation where you're looking for something yeah. and there are only questions, no answers. And it's like you're shouting into the void. I don't know if we really experience that so much anymore on the internet, but there were definitely there was definitely a time where you would like Google search something and it was only people asking your same question. And yeah. I love it because like in that moment, I would just usually get frustrated and give up. Um, but you did something about it. I started a website with the bits I could piece together. I didn't know much. If you go back and look at the original Emojipedia, it's kind of, it's mostly a list of what does exist. There's no why. But over time, you go back and back and sort of fill in details, meet the teams. And yeah, I, I did not expect that five years later, I'd be still here, still fleshing out some of those original entries about where they came from, why. Uh, Yes, it was an accident, but I'm, I've, I think the details are interesting. So those few people who might not have ever come upon Emojipedia, um, I, tell us exactly what it, what it is, what, how you can use it, um, and what you'd find there. So Emojipedia, it's probably better described as a dictionary than an encyclopedia, although who likes labels, right? But the idea is, like you'd look up in a dictionary what a word means, how people use it. In Emojipedia, you'll look up what an emoji is meant to mean, sort of what its official name is. We have a bit of info how people generally use it, especially if, it different, if it's different from the official name. But I guess the difference with that and words are that they look different on every platform. Mm-hmm. So we also list and we provide updates and news on here's what it looks like on Apple today, here's what it looked like last year and the year before, and Google and Samsung so I guess the most common, some people go to there to just because they're intrigued, they're kind of like, what is the definition of this emoji? And they might come for that. Or they just need to know, like, especially if you're a, if you're a social media professional, I'm, I'm very well aware there's politi- highly placed politicians and CEOs in the world who all look up Emojipedia, or they don't, their PR people do, <laughs> before they send a tweet to make sure, does this emoji look okay on all the platforms before I send it. Oh yeah, that's a smart thing to do. And also, I mean, yeah, there's there's a lot of brands that are uh, look to emoji. I remember you remember Peach, the like two thousand. I remember Peach, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they really like that was an emoji that um, was recognizable, and that uh, it didn't last. The, the Don't launch a brand without an emoji in twenty nineteen. <laughs> right. Like there's two thousand or so. Just pick one. You don't have to call it Peach, but I think I think you're foolish to start a company today and not have at least one of the emojis. I know Glitch is a really good example, but mm-hmm. their logo, uh, Glitch it for people not aware, it's sort of a, I don't want to call it an amateur programming site. It's not amateur. It's sort of, it makes programming more approachable. You can share and remix code and you can make sort of little apps on the web mm-hmm. and their logo is sort of the fish flags, the carp streamer. Uh-huh. They've got their own version of it, but then there already is this obscure emoji that's got use in Japan, but it means whenever they want to talk about themselves on Twitter, they just, they've got this, the two fla- fish flags, ready to go. Right.